In these next 100 days, I'm gonna have to survive the caverns of the fallen castle, learn enough magic to spawn the monolith tower that guides you to new worlds, and finally enter the fallen kingdom and face the wizard that brought it there. Once upon a time, there was a wizard known as Monarch. Monarch was a good wizard, using his power to help those around him, but... One day, an evil king known as King Onyx declared all wizards to be exiled from the land. Monarch filled with rage. How dare he be banished for being himself? Monarch went to talk to the king, but was ambushed on the way. Farmers who lived by the kingdom said that they saw a bright light in the distance, and when they went to market next to trade their goods, the kingdom was not there. The land was like it was when nature first started it. It was like a kingdom had never existed. As I spawned into the world, I was hit by lightning. I looked around and there was a wizard right in front of me. I was running out of hearts and if I got hit one more time, I would surely die. This was crazy. I sprinted away trying to create space between me and the wizard. Why was he trying to kill me already? Nearby, I found what looked like a broken down cart. I opened the barrel that was in front of it, but there was nothing inside. I then saw this odd mud that was under the cart that seemed to have stopped it. I needed some supplies and I needed them quickly. I was one shot away from being killed by near anything. I found a shack nearby and I went inside. Inside I found a dagger but I wasn't allowed to use it as in this series I can only use wands and other magical items. I ventured downstairs and I found some armor but I'm only allowed to use wizard's cloak so I couldn't take it. I opened the chest hoping to find some magical items but all I found was organic material and some food. Although this wasn't perfect I really needed food to regenerate my hearts before going outside. Any turn and I could meet some sort of mage and they would end me in one hit. I can I my adventure and I found this small hill. On the outside, there was like these stone blocks. They looked like some sort of door, but there was no way to open them. I then heard a zombie noise, so I backed right off. There is no way I could try and break in there right now. I need to find a wizard tower and trade with him so I can get a wizard staff. At least then I could defend myself with some primitive spells. Nearby I found a wizard's hut that had been crumbled to the earth and inside I found some old spell books. But I didn't have a wand yet so I couldn't find out what the encrypted books would be. But I still decided to take them for when I did have a wand. What is this thing? It looks like some sort of pancake. Oh, oh it moves! <laughs> I spent all day looking for wizard's huts, but I pushed through and when I got to the tower I went inside. I had no idea if this wizard was going to be hostile towards me, but I had to take the chance. But when I got to the top, thankfully he ignored me, he even had trades for me just like the villagers did. When I looked around I saw a chest on top of the bookshelf and when I opened it I found a magic wand. Now this is just a very basic wand and they go all the way up to master's wands which have crazy spells. But this basic magic one would give me the ability to add some primitive spells to it and defend myself. But when I start elevating to tougher mobs and bosses, I'm gonna need a much better wand. I took the opportunity to use the wizard's arcane bench to add some spells to my new magic wand. The first spell that I added was called magic missile and it allows my wand to shoot out these little darts at everything at the use of mana. The downside is every wand only has a certain amount of mana it can hold inside and to recharge it you need to find these magical crystals. So in a way it has a durability bar but we can recharge it by finding more crystals in the mines or by killing bad wizards. While I was looking for food the next day I came across something I'd never seen before. Okay so we have a slight problem. I came to kill this pig but there is something very wrong with it. What is happening? What is, what is wrong with you all? No, I don't want to eat you. Go away. A vampire cow? Okay, that does not exist. Vampires do not eat cows. I found this graveyard-like place with these tombstones. They had a low mist over it. I wanted to break one of the tombstones and see if it dropped anything. I began mining the tree beside me to make a pickaxe so I could then mine the tombstones, but when I mined them, they didn't drop anything. I didn't realize it just now, but this mod would come in huge later with the treasure that it holds. I found a small town nearby and I went inside to see if I could get any supplies. However, all of their chests were locked until you defeated them as a nation. There was no way I could take them out with just my magical wand. Since I didn't have the armor or ones to take them on to take their treasure, I decided to just leave. When I got outside, I began killing the wildlife around trying to forage for food, and then I saw it. In the trees, there was an owl, and for fun, I decided to click on it with some chicken in hopes I could tame it, and it ate my chicken. 
I then realized I could potentially tame him if I brought some more raw meat to him. A little while later, I found this house in the middle of nowhere, and when I went inside, I found this strange creature, and after I turned around from opening the chest, it was staring right at me. I didn't know what to do, so I'm just gonna take this, and you know what? This looks pretty, so I'm just gonna take this as well. You know what? You just stay there. You're doing great. You're doing great. Good job guarding. While I was combing the land looking for a place to live, I noticed a weird object between two pillars. It was glimmering. It almost looked like some sort of a portal, but there was definitely no way I was going inside of that yet or wherever it led to. I just decided to mark it for now and come back later. Later that day while adventuring, I noticed these strange men next to a mountain, and when I went up closer to see what they were, they were called vampire hunters. I didn't even know vampires existed, nor did I have to deal with them, but apparently they do exist, and I'm gonna have to be really careful when night comes around. What on earth is that? Whoa. Whoa, 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 what's happening? What's happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. All of a sudden, I found myself in what seemed like another dimension being chased by one of these creatures. I backed off and then I used my wand to take it out. As I looked around, I quickly began to realize though, this was not Earth. The sky had no moon or sun, but it did have stars in it, so it had to at least be in the same galaxy, right? I continued exploring, looking for a way out of this really eerie place. I knew if one of those hostile creatures found me again, I would probably die, so I had to be quick about it. While I was searching for the rift to find my way out, I bumped into some fairies. And when I approached them, they stole my quest book from me, so I had to shoot them right out of the sky. I then was very careful getting around the rest of the fairies. After a while of searching, I found this flying creature, but as I examined it, I was attacked from behind. I quickly turned to face the foe that was behind me and I was able to shoot it with my magic wand and survive. And then all of a sudden I saw it diving out of the sky towards me and I quickly shot at it and I was able to take it down. It dropped two wings and I wasn't sure what they were used for but I decided to keep them on me just in case they were used for something important a little bit later. I have been wandering around here for hours it seems like and there's just no way out. I don't get- Oh, back away. Back away. Just gonna... Yeah. Run, 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 run. After a while of searching, I found a rift to take me home and I jumped inside. All of a sudden, I appeared inside of a village. I began to look around to see if I could find a place to sleep for the night. I was not getting dragged into one of those portals again. After finding a bed in the village, I also noticed a weird totem. It shot some sort of weird beacon thing straight up into the sky and it was from the vampire mod. All of a sudden, I came upon a village-like mob wearing a plague mask. Then all of a sudden, I was attacked by a vampire out of nowhere. I was able to kill it though just in time. Because if it bit me, I'd become a vampire and that would definitely not be a good thing. It made me more curious though to see what creature that was that held that weird mask, but I'd have to find out later. For now, I had to continue adventuring to find a place to build a wizard's hut, but in one of the houses in the village, I found a vampire hunter trainer. I tried right clicking on him to see if he would train me, but he said I wasn't a high enough level yet. What? So I decided to leave this for now, but I made a note of this later in case I wanted to come back and become a vampire hunter. There was no telling what rewards I could get from hunting the evil vampires. After I left the village, I found this relic-like structure, and when I went near it, all of a sudden, a druid appeared. Then all of a sudden, he hit me, then disappeared. I began to run away, and then he reappeared right next to me. He hit me again. He was just so fast. So I decided to run towards the water to get away from him, and when I looked back, there was no one there, and he was not chasing me. I had no idea what that thing was, but didn't want to try and interfere with it again. While traveling, I finally found what I was looking for, an enormous mountain that definitely looked like the place to build a wizard's hut. I was imagining in my head putting the wizard's hut at the very top and using the mountain to make the pointy peak. This would look awesome. After building the peak, I could build my way down, expanding and carving my way into the mountain to perform the rituals I would need for some of the most powerful magic inside of the game. I started by mining some cobblestone so I could make a better pickaxe, but while I was mining, I noticed a knight approaching me. He got closer and I realized he was ready to attack and then he attacked me and I began shooting at him with my magic wand and smacking him away. I was finally able to kill him. The knight looked familiar but I couldn't place it from where. It was now time to start building and gathering resources to build the wizard tower. The thing that I had to keep in mind was although I wanted to look really cool it had to be functional to contain all the spells and rituals I would need to perform inside of it. So we're gonna need to build something that looks cool but can also incorporate a lot of space for some of those structures that we're gonna be building. Some of the altars that we're gonna have have to contribute to spawn some of the most powerful entities in the game or are going to require a lot of space. I started by collecting some wood. I would need to build some ladders all the way from the base of the mountain to the top so I could get up and down. I mined some coal so I could make some torches and light up the interior and then I began pilling up the mountain and placing ladders all the way to the top. While building I noticed a wizard tower in the distance so I decided to go and see what was inside. 
When I got inside, the wizard was friendly once again, which was good because I didn't think I could take one on yet. When I opened up his trades, I saw he was willing to trade me a book that would upgrade an apprentice wand to a master wand, but the problem was my wand was still a novice. I then realized this was the way to upgrade my wand. I'd have to find a wizard that was willing to trade me a book to upgrade a novice to an apprentice wand. I didn't know where I could find a wizard like that, so for now, I decided to go mining and collect some resources. While I was in the mines, I was attacked by a world leader skeleton. I was barely able to kill it and still survive. These mobs were growing insanely strong and I was scared as their magic increased they'd become even more powerful. I used the water that had flooded into the bottom of the caves to avoid all the mobs that I could. All of a sudden I came up into a section of the cave and I saw a bright light in front of me and then all of a sudden it hit me. I went towards what shot at me and I realized it was a massive monster so I slowly backed away. While I was mining I found this giant area where it had a lot of string. This was perfect. It was perfect because making the wizard's rose would require string as an essential ingredient to the base crafting. If I want to protect myself in this world, I have to make these very basic robes and then they can be upgraded into these crazy armor sets. I continued more and more getting deeper into the cave systems. I wasn't worried until I saw a group of zombies that charged at me. I used my wand and I was able to keep them at bay. I then knew it was time though to return to the surface and start getting some armor. When I got back to the surface, I went to the furnaces and began smelting down all the ores and some food that I had. I then began creating my first set of wizard's cloaks. All it required was some magic crystals and string that I had found to be made into silky cloth and from there they make all the armor pieces. This was only the most primitive wizard set, but soon I could evolve it using a magical crucible into the most powerful armor inside of the magical realm. The next thing I needed to make was called the arcane workbench. I went out to scavenge for some dyes and then I was able to create it. It enables me to add spellbooks onto my wand and upgrade my wands. They are in every wizard tower, but if I try and take one, the wizard will get very upset and start casting spells at me. These are very powerful wizards and you shouldn't mess with them, otherwise you are going to get destroyed. After adding the spells onto your wand, you still don't know what they are and you have to figure it out by trying them on your wand. The first one that I tried took all of my clothes off. I don't think this is what's supposed to happen. But after a while, it revealed itself as a healing spell. I decided to try it by jumping off the side of a cliff, as every wise wizard should do. And as I took damage from jumping off, sure enough, I right clicked and it heals you. I tried it with the next one, however, all it did is push me back and say the scroll emits a defeating noise knocking you to the ground. I had no idea what this meant, so I did the practical thing and that was to keep doing it again and again. I had no idea what it was, but then I remembered I had a book that tells you whatever a spell is. I got the scroll from one of the chests and then I right clicked on it. Sure enough, it unlocks the spell hidden within the book and it's called called Ark. I didn't know what it was, so I added it onto the wand and then I right clicked, but nothing happened. I assumed that it probably needed a mod to use it on, otherwise it wouldn't work, so for now I would let it go, but definitely was excited to figure out what it was when the night came around. However, that night when I was doing some things, a vindicator snuck up on me and attacked me. My wand was still on the workbench though, so I had no way to defend myself. All I could do was run. If he hit me one more time, I'd be dead. I did some circles around my base to try and lose him, but I was running out of hunger, so soon I wouldn't be able to sprint anymore, but I I made it to my workbench and I grabbed the wand and I could have took shots at him. Thankfully I was able to take him down, that was a close call. When I woke up the next morning I had a weird book inside of my inventory. It read I had the strangest dream last night. In the dream I took these strange crystals I'd been finding and ground them into a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint. The crystals had to be of different types but if I did it properly the result was a strange glowing dust. In the dream I took the dust and sprinkled it on a bookcase but the dream ended before I saw what happened. I wonder if I should do what the dream showed in real life. I have the impression the dust was going to reveal something wondrous but also dangerous. This sounded like some powerful magic from another mod but I had to worry about what I had to do right now which was leveling up my armor and my wand. Soon I would definitely venture down that path to see what those crystals do but for now I had to keep myself alive. It was now time for me to start building my home so I went out and I gathered a bunch of resources. I really liked the idea of building a wizard tower at the very peak of this mountain. So after gathering the supplies I made my way all the way up to the top and I began building around. I started by building a square around the peak of the mountain so I could deduce how I wanted to build the roof from there. Halfway up, I realized I was going to need to take out the dirt from the top of the spire if I wanted to build this roof properly. So I began removing the dirt and stone from the top of the mountain so I could begin building the rest of the- After the roof was done, I began working on the structure below it by connecting it with fence posts to look like the roof was suspending it. Even though it looked like a primitive structure right now, as we went on, I was going to get more resources and build it into something crazy looking. I then took some time to go over all the corners in my base and accent them all with different types of wood. After the primitive structure was done, I went down to the base and I began collecting my resources to bring all the way to the top. The ladder system was super slow, but soon I would be able to have this 
this magical spell, I'm sure that would bring me all the way to the top instantly. So even though it was a little bit painful now, I was excited for when I could figure out the magic that would help me. I then began creating these special bookshelves to put around the arcane workbench. They would allow me to put spell books inside and the arcane workbench could pull from them whenever I needed one. This way I didn't have to store the books inside of chests and make it super difficult to figure out which wand I wanted to make. After that was complete, it was time to venture out. The next logical step inside of this game is to get minions. There is a wand called the Wand of Minions and when you have it in your possession, you can spawn minions at the cost of hunger to do anything that you want. However, the wand is guarded by an evil lord that lives inside a broken down castle. I wasn't sure if I could take him on yet, but I decided with my new wizard armor and my staff I had a good chance, so I set out on an adventure. On my way to find the structure, I found a village, and inside I found a totem pole. When I right clicked on it, all of a sudden it lit up and gave me night vision. I wasn't sure what this totem pole was used for yet, but in a world of magic, anything is possible. While I was adventuring, I came across more fairies, and I avoided them. I also found a wizard tower. I headed up in hopes that he would have a book for me, but unfortunately he didn't have the book that would upgrade my wand. After finishing looking for his trades, I ventured on looking for the broken castle once again. After a long time of searching, I finally found it. I saw it in the distance. I saw the crumbling walls and the towers that once used to stand tall now in shambles. As I got closer, I saw a bunch of mobs that started to run out at me. This was gonna be a crazy to try and take over. Oh, let's try arc maybe. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice, nice. Another one, another one. Oh, this is too easy. Oh, magic missile. I think that will shoot at anything no matter what the range is. All right, I'm gonna have to be very careful here. All right, we're inside. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of... Nope, nope. When I got to the other side, a bunch of guards began streaming out at me. I had to use up all the energy inside of my wand basically just to keep them at bay. We are running out of wand magic and there's still a lot, a lot of them in here. Okay, let's see if we can, we can take out the ones on the ground, then it'll be at least a little bit safer. Thankfully, the mage's tower was pretty close to the broken castle, so I went back to it to recharge my wand. When I got back to the fallen castle, I sprinted right through the courtyard, being shot at by every single mob within distance. Thankfully, I made it to the underground alive. I knew the guards wouldn't leave their posts so long as I didn't hit them off. As I began going down the stairs, I was met with the undead, but past that, I had no idea what to expect down here. Okay, I think this means- oh, hello, hello. And I just- oh, he's so hard to hit. I think this means we're getting closer. What is this? What what is happening? What is happening? Stay back, stay back. Okay. Now I'm gonna have to be really careful here because I do not have a lot of magic left. Uh, I don't like this. I'm gonna. Oh, there's so many necromancers. What are those little things? Who are you? Why are you a standing cat? What is wrong with you? Oh no! Oh, there's a bunch of witches in here. Oh, oh, it's the wizard. That's the dude I need. Oh no! I killed him? I killed him. I'm frozen. He froze me. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, literally. <laughs> uh, crystal, crystals. Can I pick them up? I need to pick them up. Um, okay, perfect. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Th this is awful. Uh, let's do that. Oh. The gods are pleased with your sacrifice. are pleased with your sacrifice. The gods have rewarded your offering. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's a minion. It's my minion. So we need to get out of here somewhat, somewhat safely. As I got back to the courtyard, I sprinted right through with all the arrows hailing down once again. That was a crazy adventure, but now it was time to get my minions to work and begin building a magical empire, and then become the ultimate mage and find out what happened to the lost kingdom. When I got home, I recharged my wand. I needed it at full capacity. Just in case my minions were attacked, I could defend them. I went down to the base of the mountain and I spawned in my minions using the staff. They take a lot of hunger away from your hunger bar, so I had to bring a lot of food with me. After I spawned them in, I tasked them with building a mine shaft. Not only do they give you all the resources from digging this mine shaft, but they also create create a staircase down all the way to bedrock. 
While they were digging, I noticed a weird area they uncovered, so I went down to see what it was. I found a chest, and when I opened it, there were vampire fangs and a vampire book. I wasn't ready to begin exploring the vampire's world yet, but I kept it for when I was. One day, I would need to travel to their realm and kill them to find their secret power, but for now, I needed to work on my own magic. When the mineshaft was complete, I placed down a chest and had them deposit all their ores and blocks inside. I then summoned them again and began telling them to strip mine. They would technically strip mine infinitely, but I would tell them to come back after a while to deposit all their stuff so I could begin building the next phase of my magical empire. This would be a great way to gather resources and build up some other magical items I can get inside of this game. I went all the way back to my base to grab some more chests and I put them down there as the original chests were already filled up. I then ventured out. I wanted to begin working on my wand so I could begin upgrading it and gain even more powerful spells to defeat the more powerful enemies inside of the game. However, to do that, I was going to need to find an archmage and they would probably want emeralds to trade for the book. But I had a good idea. There was a massive pillager base right next to my base. So I ventured towards it and I killed the pillagers on the outside. I made my way up the first floor and I fought the pillagers that were there. When I got onto the next floor, I found no pillagers, yet I found a lot of chests and inside they had some organic material but no emeralds. I continued making my way through the structure looking for some potential emeralds and when I got to the next floor, I found a chest in the middle of the room. However, all of a sudden I bumped into a vindicator and he began spawning these little men that attacked me. I used my wand to take them out and then I took him out. His traps almost killed me but I was able to take him out before he was able to take me out. I continued to the next floor, but now it was like a maze with pillagers around every corner. While I was looking, I found this area with an enchanting table and bookshelves and I began to take them all down. Later, I could build up an enchanting area and potentially enchant my cloaks. All of a sudden, I got to a staircase which led to a giant room. This had to be where the emerald were kept. As I went up the stairs to see what treasure was going to be in the room at the very top, there was a massive man holding a diamond enchanted axe. All of a sudden, I was shot and I backed down and began killing the pillagers that came out and chased me. There was no way I was going to be able to take on that creature I noticed in the main room. However, I saw a chest on this new floor and I went towards it to see what was inside. When I opened it, I saw some really cool stuff, but specifically gold and silver coins. This is super OP because when you drop the coins into a wishing well, which are located throughout the world, you can get some crazy good magical items. However, there was no way I was going to be able to kill that massive man, so I decided to leave at this point and find a smaller pillager outpost for my emeralds. I would definitely have to come back later and face him though. When I approached one of the smaller places, is I found a vampire inside and I shot him with my wand. I realized he wasn't able to step out of it, otherwise he would burn in the sunlight, so I used distance and my wand to kill him. But all of a sudden, he seemed to not care and he rushed out and attacked me. Thankfully, he was so low that I was able to use my wand to finish him up. When I ventured inside, I found no other guards, but there was a lot of chests right in the middle. I broke through the cobblestone wall that was protecting them and then opened them up, and sure enough, I found some emeralds inside and some other good resources. This was perfect. I could now begin adventuring out and upgrade my wand and trade with an archmage. Before heading out, I went down to where my minions were mining and I pulled them all in to get their resources. But not a lot came back and I realized that I had to be within the chunk that I set them down in otherwise they would just despawn. They would definitely still be a big asset, I just needed to be at home while they were mining. However, I had to venture out again to upgrade my wand and to find a wishing well so I let them be for now. I then found a wishing well and began dropping my coins in and I got a whole bunch of different items including some more emeralds. This was perfect. Yes, I got even more emeralds. This is gonna do so well. I wanted to find a wizard hut that would trade me for the book to upgrade my wand. I found another wizard wizard hut and when I got to the top I crossed my fingers but unfortunately he didn't have the trade that I needed while I was adventuring I saw this really cool mountain there's really no point to me adding this in aside of it, it looks really cool I continued looking for the wizard tower but all of a sudden I came across this straw man it was a giant depiction of a human but I didn't want to touch it in case it was cursed and then in the distance I saw this giant tower that had been erected out of the ground this was definitely made by some strong archmage when I looked up at the place I realized this is definitely where my book would be held <laughs> that oh hello hello oh it's another one it's another one it's another one back up back up those things are huge it's like a big eagle but it doesn't have wings okay no there's a lot of a lot of pillagers up here hello oh all oh, this oh which is being attacked by the big eagle dude god help me no what is wrong with this all right well ah uh, no i don't look at me, bro. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. I continued looking through the chest, hoping that one of them would contain the book. And then I opened the chest that was next to the arcane workbench, and sure enough, there was the book to upgrade my wand. I quickly put my wand inside the arcane workbench and put the book in, but it didn't work. I didn't understand why at the time, but I would soon see. I then adventured home. The top thing that was on my mind was the wand, but I also didn't forget about that owl. I definitely need to figure out a way to tame one and have it around my base. 
I've always wanted to see what has been. Whoa! 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 Oh, there's another one down there. Oh, and he levitated me. He levitated me. He levitated me. No, 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 no. Is he dead? No, he's still alive. Oh, wait, now he's dead. <laughs> okay. Holy cats. Is there anything in here, or is this just a cell for nobody? Oh, what's this? Oh, a sneaky little chest. All right, I don't need anything else, I don't think. Mystical world, eh? I wonder what that means. When I got home, I put my wand back into the workbench to try and figure out why it would upgrade. I then noticed in the top right corner, there was a little bit of a bar that went from novice all the way to apprentice. I realized that not only did I need the book, but I needed to level up my wand through combat to enable it to be upgraded. I would definitely have to go out that night and slay some more creatures to upgrade my wand. That night, I looked for a ruined altar so I could combine my magic clothing with some really powerful elements. After I finally found it, I looked in the distance and I saw this giant structure that I had no idea what it was, but I didn't have time to go and investigate it right now. When I looked over to my left, I found more of those creatures that dragged me into the dimension of the beating of the game, so I made sure to take them out before starting the altar. I then placed the four cups around the altar and put the infusion dust inside, and then it activated as I put my robe in the middle and began to infuse the robe and it made a powerful earth robe. I didn't have enough dust to do this to everything, but soon I could create really powerful armor once I had a full set of this. I noticed rifts all around me and I shot at one, but it did nothing. I returned home and I added enchanted silk I had found in the upgraded wizard's cloaks to make them even more powerful. This would allow me to wear battle mage's armor. I began to realize that time was ticking and if I wanted to search my way through the four realms to find the lost kingdom, I need to have stronger armor. I decided to begin working on a huge project. I went to the mines and collected a lot of dirt and cobblestone the minions had mined out. After I made my way up, I remembered I could upgrade my wand, so I went to the arcane workbench and upgraded it. I added an advanced spell book I had in the bookshelves and then I went down the mountain to see what the spell book did. All right, let's see what this bad boy, oh, hello, we can do. Ice shard, ooh. This is much more dangerous than the magic missile, I think. I'm on, I'm on like particle effects or, oh, resistance? Oh, it gives you resistance. That is so cool. And then ice shard's basically like an upgraded magic missile. Ho, ho, ho. I can't wait to get to the master ones. As morning broke, it was time to get building. I needed to make a section to add an altar. If I was going to go through the four hardest bosses in the game and face the wizard in the Lost Kingdom, I'd need the most powerful magic possible. I was going to make an altar and use life essence of the evil mobs to fuel my ambitions. Nothing could stop me. I built an island using cobblestone and dirt that was attached to my main island. I wanted to stay with the floating island mountain theme. It would be cool to have a lot of small mountains connected by bridges. If you want to see me do part 2, don't forget to like and comment. To begin the magic altar, I had to craft snares. Snares will allow me to get the first magical elements that I need, raw will. Will is dropped from mobs and in essence is their desire to live. The more powerful the mob, the more powerful their will. The snares allow me to accumulate their will into one spot and when the mob is killed, you'll get their will as a free drop. After a few tries, I realized the floating beams didn't drop the will though. During the night, I tried it on some soul seekers and they dropped some. This was perfect. I headed back to my base to recharge my wand so I could collect more will. I had never had to engage with mobs during the night and darn they were vicious. During the night I snared an electrified creeper but they dropped some strange type of will. I would learn a bit later what that is but it isn't what I was needing right now. After collecting all the will I needed I headed back up to my area where lots of mobs were spawning now so I had to take them out. I headed back into the mines to collect some magic crystals when I heard a creepy voice. What the heck is that? Ooh. What the frick is that? No, 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 no. Get away, get away. What is that thing? 
Well, it doesn't seem like it wants to fight, and I don't want to fight it, so we're just, we're just gonna leave it there. After gathering all the resources from the chests, I began to smelt them. The next thing I made was a Hellfire Forge. This would allow me to perform the beginnings of the altar I would need to craft. I gathered all the elements required and then crafted a Petty Gem. The Petty Gem would allow me to store more will more easily. I made also the Sentient Sword. This would allow me to get will without using snares and accumulate it inside of the gem. The road to becoming a powerful wizard was nearing its climax. I then made the Blood Altar. This would be the main piece to a giant structure I'd have to create if I wanted to harness the life essence of all evil mobs around me. After placing it down, I used a dagger to fill it with my own life essence, but soon I'd use mobs to get it started, but for now I would need my own. I then crafted a chest plate to gather essence from killing mobs, but I made the wrong one. I made the one that automatically kills you, a chest plate that damages you. Now, this is interesting. I recrafted the proper one, and when you kill a mob while wearing it, it will store the life essence inside of the chest plate, and you can transfer it from there into the altar. This is just a very efficient way to gather life essence in the early stages. I went down to the ground to test it, and it worked. I then returned back to my altar, and I grabbed my arcane workbench, and headed out to find some more magical elements I'd need to continue, specifically Cursed Earth. What is that? A little lava pit or... Oh, who is that? Oh, and he's in a hole. <laughs> oh, what's your shot? Oh, it's a wizard. How did he get out here? Why are they coming out of dig sites and why is everything on fire? Oh, is it an archaeologist camp? Where's, where's the archaeologist? This makes no sense. All right, I'm just just gonna. I should probably finish these guys off. And is that it? Okay. Huh. I continued on from the dig site slightly confused, but I had one goal: find the kingdom that held the magical items I'd need to advance my altar. I continued through the forest that night in search of it. Now that looks like what I wanted to find. Inside of that fortress, we should be able to find our cursed earth and potentially some other magic items. Problem is I have to get in there and I'm gonna take a wild guess and say they're not gonna like me. All we need to do is find the chest with the items that I need and we're gonna be okay. That man does not look friendly. He does not look friendly at all. Okay. Oh, oh, there's more, there's more. There's more of them. There's more, back up, back up, back up. They are ready to, I didn't even do anything and they're attacking me. I did not hit those guys in green though because they don't seem to care about me. What is this? Oh, is that the Black Death thing? Oh, no, no. But he's not even taking damage. All right, well, they keep whatever plague that is occupied. I need to find that chest and get out of here. All right, this looks like the biggest structure, but I need to find where they would hide, hide the chest. It should be a different chest than, oh, that's a guard. Shoot. This freeze thing is so good. I need to get to the top floor, and I'm running out of food fast. Alright, well there's- okay, perfect. This is it? Yes, this is exactly what we needed. The cursed earth. And there's runes in here as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Alright, now I just have to worry about getting- Ooh, ooh, where are they coming? Where did they just come from? Where did they just come from? How do I get out? How do I get out? Hit the roof, hit the roof. They're gonna chase me. They're gonna chase me. Are they? No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. All right, let me just get over the wall, and then I think I'm safe. Get out of here in one piece, and back to base. Okay, I think we got this, we got this. While traveling home, I found this forest with a face and a tree, and it withered me, so I shot at it like a pog champ, but it did nothing, so I ran. What a stupid tree. On my way home, I found this huge castle, but I didn't have time to see what it was, so I kept going. However, I ran out of food, so I made sure to kill some wildlife on my way home to gather more supplies. I had to make a furnace and smelt down food as I completely ran out, but while I was smelting I noticed a wizard tower and when I went closer to see what was inside I noticed an even larger, weirder shaped wizard's castle in the distance. I could avoid going into that structure, but at the same time, what would a pog champ- <gasps> Oop! Uh, you know what, maybe... Maybe can we still get in there? Hey, let's see if we can go around. Ha! Not even close. Gonna, I'm gonna break through there. Oh, oh, this is this is this is going subpar. This is going subpar. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Go, go down the ladder. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Ooh, 
that was. Oh, they're coming down. They're coming down. All right, I'm good. All right, we need to recharge this bad boy. Okay, perfect. I really want to push up there and see what's in that very top portion. All right. Somebody. Oh, oh, here it is. Somebody was summoning them or something. Oh, hello, hello, everybody. It was a chest. Oh, okay. We got some magical items in here. Necromancer boots. Those are. Those are good. What is this? I grabbed all the valuable items from inside the chest. This was Pog. All right, well, we gotta head back now because it's getting nighttime and we need to get home and start on this magic. On my way home, I ran right into the grips of a Cyclops. Thankfully, between me sprinting and shooting at him with my ice spikes, I was able to freeze him and create some distance between us. Then out of nowhere, a dragon fell from the sky and attacked me as well. What did I do to y'all? Then I noticed something strange. Wait a second, did something just kill that dragon? What just killed it? I am not sticking around to find out, nope. When I got home, I ran to my altar. All the mobs I had killed had filled my chest piece. I took it off and clicked the altar and it charged it up with life essence. It was now time to begin crafting the ultimate armor, but first I placed my blood altar in the sky as I'd have to place runes all the way down to make it a max altar. I used the runes I had to surround it as a base, but they were barely enough to make it a tier two altar. I then went to my forge and crafted another gem. If I wanted to upgrade my altar automatically to gather life essence, I'd need a more powerful gem. This was the first thing I had to do though. I then took my sentient sword and I made an anvil, and from there I added a sharpness 3 book onto this sentient sword so I could begin filling my gem to begin crafting the most ultimate piece of my altar. I then went down to the ground and began killing mobs around me to begin filling up the gem, but it was really slow and not a lot was happening. I had to come up with a much more efficient way to do this or it would take forever. With the cursed earth that I had, I had an idea. I went into the mines and I tasked my minions with building a huge cavern, or more so mining out a huge cavern. I wanted them to mine out a section of the earth so I could build a mob area with my cursed earth and gather all the will that I needed, and once I tasked them, they began mining. After they finished mining, I began construction of a simple mob farm. The farm allows the cursed earth to spawn a lot of mobs and then it spreads throughout the other dirt and the walls allow me to hit them and also stay safe. I spent some time grinding out the mobs to fill my gem with the evil mob's will. I kept getting parasites on my face though and it was not pleasant. Once my gem was filled, I headed back to craft the next tier of gem. I needed tier 3 gem to automate my altar, and once the altar was automated, I could craft the most powerful wizard set of armor and begin adventuring into the dark dimensions. Alright, so we filled up the next gem. I wonder if anyone's gonna guess how many times I said Pog Champ throughout this video. I filled up the new gem again and headed back to base, and when I arrived home, I used the altar to make a rune. This rune would allow me to upgrade some more magical items. I used a hopper to insert 16 stone at a time to be converted into rune stones. This would allow me to make more runes and more powerful of an altar. I then crafted the runes into blocks and began building the third tier of the altar. Once the altar was at tier 3, I could craft the most powerful magic items inside of this mod. I continued making the runes though to become more powerful and even more powerful. I then used the Hellfire Forge once again to make the final tier of gem. Once filled, I could craft the magical armor I'd need to take into the four dimensions and see what happened to the Lost Kingdom. I returned to the grinder and killed a bunch more mobs to fill the last gem, and then I returned to the Hellfire Forge and crafted what's called the Binding Agent. This powerful goop would allow me to craft the magical armor. Once I made five of them, I only needed one more item, Arcane Ashes. This ancient inscriptions would would allow me to bind normal iron armor and this new binding agent that I created. I then used the arcane ashes to craft the remaining pieces of armor that I would need. Alright, so I watched a tutorial on this a long time ago and I completely forgot how to do it, but I think it goes something like this. So I need the arcane ashes, if I place them on the ground, okay, it has a circle, and I think I need to put the binding agent in first, and then I put the- <gasps> Yeah, yeah, there we go. Now, if I'm right, this is gonna make a super powerful magical item. And if I'm wrong, well, I, I might die. But you know what? We're willing to take that risk. What the heck are these explosions? Oh. There it is. There it is. The living chest plate. 
Now, it might look super low-key right now, and I can't even wear it because it would kill me if I did. But this thing is the key, basically, to immortality. It was now time to automate my altar so I could wear the armor. I went down to gather some water and then I made a platform above the altar with dirt. Once it was finished, I'd place the cursed earth so that when it would spread, a crazy amount of mobs would begin spawning inside of this little box. I surrounded it with stone and then lit up the top. I then dived in and to my shock there were mobs inside, but I took care of them before they blew up the entire operation. I mined my way into the box and I placed water on the four corners of the actual box itself. This would push the mobs all the way to the center point. And then I was chased by a hoe. I built a drop chamber on the outside for the mobs to fall through to where I could hit them on top of the altar. Killing them with the right sword over the altar would allow me to draw their essence into the altar itself and power my own armor. I then made the sacrificial dagger and it worked. Their life essence now flowed through my altar. And then I created some more runes to aid in holding a higher capacity of the life essence. The armor that I wear will drain the life essence from the altar and absorb all the damage as long as I have life essence inside. The next morning, I crafted runes of capacity to help increase how much essence my altar could hold. I then placed a block in the altar and created a bloodstone. When I right-clicked on it, it binded my essence to the altar, and I am now tied to the life essence there. Should the essence run out, I die, so I had to make sure the essence stayed full at all times. Alright, it's time to see how strong this guy is. I have to let them hit me so I can kind of test it. I don't think I took any damage. Let me hit me again. Hello? Smack me, I dare you. I wonder if they see that they can't do... Oh, there we go. Okay, so they can do a bit of damage. But the more... The more blood I have stored in the altar, the less damage they can do. This is so OP. All of a sudden, I heard a huge thundering noise. And then a giant chicken man popped out. What the heck? I took out my wand and I began shooting beams at him and I took him down. I then raided his farm and stole all of his chicken meats. Popeyes. Now I want Popeyes. When I was wandering towards the wizard hut, I noticed a giant structure that definitely wasn't there a minute ago. That must have been what the thundering noise was. I went towards it to see what it actually was though. Okay, so there's some sort of boss bar at the top, but I don't know what it's for. But there's a- oh, oh that's a spawner. That's some sort of- is, is that a- what is- it? Oh, what was it? No, 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 I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Alright, so I have a full wand now, and maybe I have a chance, but I have no idea what that was that just hailed that fire on me. What the- Okay, so this is what I need to do damage to. That thing just shot some weird red beam straight at me. I think as it gets lower, it gets stronger. If I can take it down, though... Oh! Oh, do it again! Do it again! Oh, no! I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm leaving. I'm leaving the premises. I need food, I need food. Alright, so he's low. If I can finish him off now, then we have a chance at actually defeating him. And then, life just goes back to normal, right? Oh no, not the knights. Okay. He's so- Where'd he go? My man just migrated. Oh! Whoa, whoa! He's back! He's back! Oh no! I'm- Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, I have no idea what this guy is doing. Who gave him the teleportation skills? He's a rock! He's a Oh! Is he dead? I don't know what this is, but it looks like a beacon. Where is... my wand is completely out. Did it stop no, it's still spreading. Why is it still spreading? What is that? Just gonna take a little... Eek. Oh! Oh, it's a portal! I have the strangest feeling that if we step on the other side of this... We're gonna have to face that wizard. I'm gonna make sure that I'm prepared. I'm gonna go back down. Alright, I'm fully prepared, let's jump right in. Oh, we're floating in the abyss. This is nice, okay. Whoa. Floating islands? Maybe if I keep following these portals, then I can... What is that? How? What? Are you broken? Uh, okay. Can I tra I can trade with you. Oh, I can get a white diamond helmet. I don't know what that does. But it sounds cool. This thing is beaming particles right over that island, and this island looks a little bit different than the rest. It almost looks like- is this a portal home? It looks slightly different. Huh. But I'm guessing- I mean, the only way we're gonna get home is through a portal. 
So I guess we just kind of have to take our chances here. Let's just jump in. And we're ho- Oh my. It's moving me. Uh, I, I, I'm not moving. I'm not touching any controls. Where is it? I can't see a thing. Do I, do I have a torch? You can kind of see like the next area. Oh, did I fall? Oh, no, we're good. I thought I fell. <laughs> How do I get up there? This is so confusing. All right, so it looks like the only way to get to the next dimension. So pause the video real quick. I lost the footage, but what happened here was I did indeed fall off the bridge. And after a while, I found my way back and I crossed it. But on the other side, I found Herobrine trapped in a bedrock jail and he informed me if I brought him ender pearls, he'd give me an item to unlock the next portal. And to get out of here is to give him the ender pearls, but I'm not sure how I give them to him exactly. Can I, can I drop them? Oh, oh, I see. Oh, perfect. We can't get out then. If I'm not dropping them, then right click on a nexus block. Perfect. Thanks. Now let me try to kill you. Ooh! Ooh! Is he? Oh no! Is he out? He's out. He's out. I thought that was like a ghost of him or something. Where is he? Oh! Oh! He's through the fireball. What is he doing? I can hit him with my my dagger of sacrifice. Where are you? Let me sacrifice you. No! Or if he did. Oh! I hit him again. He's slowing down. He's slowing down. Okay. One more time. One more time, and I got him. Okay, I don't know why a cool feeling envelops me. Oh, get him! Get him! Pipe. I killed him! No, wait. He's still alive? Fascinating. I guess you can fight. Maybe instead of killing you, you can be my slave? Yeah, let's go, bro. I'll take you out again. If you find the key fragments and give them to me, I'll craft another key. What does he want? Golden Canyon Dimensional Key. Give to Harrowbrine. What is a nexus? Like, like, screw this guy. He just tried to kill me. I just want to get out of here. Okay, so the nexus has to be, like, around some sort of portal, right? Dark nexus portal. Right-click on a key block in the nexus to activate it. What's a key block? Is there a block around here that looks like a key? I'm so confused. I thought meeting Herobrine was crazy enough, but now I needed to find another portal and to continue my way through the dimensions. Once I was back in the portal galaxy, I noticed that when I held my key, a beam of light shot up from one of the islands. That had to be the key of where I had to go. I went over to the island and I right clicked the key inside of this pedestal and then a bunch of particles began to exfoliate everywhere and all of a sudden, a brand new portal. I jumped right in as I had no other choice, there was no going back now, and when I got inside of the dimension I started to look around and saw giant caverns carved into the earth absolutely everywhere. Alright, so apparently it looks like there's some mob called the Maelstrom Illager. It's still not the wizard- Oh! Oh! It's still not the wizard I'm looking for, but I feel like we're getting close. The only thing I can think of is the wizard must have dragged the kingdom into one of these dimensions. I just don't know which one yet. I don't know how many there are or how long we're going to be in here, if we even survive. I need to kill this guy, I need to kill- I need to eat, I need to eat. Only choice now. Uh, can I- can I pillar? Okay, kind of. Uh, if these guys keep hitting me, I'm going to die, and this series is over. This series is almost over. Uh, where's my- where's my heal? Where's my heal? Okay, this is so close, I am so close to dying right now. How- how are we still alive? How are we still alive? That is insane. Not good. We're running out of wand power. We're not going to be able to defend ourselves soon. There's more coming. There's chests up here too. Okay, guys, stop. Let me see what's in the chests. Okay, this is ridiculous. Let me just... Oh my goodness. Uh, definitely want that. Oh, there's a cool hat in here. Ah, uh, shoot. If we didn't find those crystals, like, we were doomed in here. There was no way we were making it to the final wizard and standing a chance. The only bad thing is, what is this Maelstrom Illager? supposedly up here oh 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 i see i see him is that is that who he is i'm doing no damage do you want to fight or do you want to trade or oh 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 i see he has to be doing this he has to be on the attack oh and he's gonna spawn these guys every time come join our empire i think i'll be fine on my own empire thank you very much this guy must work for the main wizard or be part of the wizard mod i don't 
I don't know. This doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. All right, those are the last of the crystals. Oh, but there's more stuff up here. Okay, but I have to kill this guy first. Oh, oh, what was that, like, vorpal thing he just did? Okay. I'm gonna get my... Uh, oh, my armor! My armor's broken! I saw a chest plate in that chest. Quick, go, 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 go. I don't know what that is, but I'm putting it on. Okay, calm down. Calm down, my friend. All I want to do is assassinate you. But in my defense, you wanted to assassinate me first. Okay, let's push. One more push. One more push, and I think we got this. Okay, if he ever un goes into vulnerable mode. Every time he lifts us, there we go! Okay, well, where do we go from here? Okay, there's a door. I guess I could just mine out the door. Oh, there's a ladder. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, perfect. There's a helmet. That's exactly what I needed. All right, half my armor is broken, but I think this is what I'm looking for. It's supposed to be a ruined structure. And at the bottom, there's... Oh! At the bottom, there's potentially a minotaur. Something that's going to oh, unlock the magic of this dimension. And then from there... I think it unlocks where the Fallen Kingdom went to. As soon as we defeat the Minotaur, we're that much closer to finding out what happened to that kingdom. Like, I wonder how sick it looks now. Okay, well, it looks like we're at the bottom now. And I gotta be very, very careful. Okay, well, I think I'm getting close because there's like this weird music playing. This is definitely a new room. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, how is that even possible? Oh my goodness, he is so strong. Wow, that is so... Oh, he's, he's doing a lot of damage. I'm gonna gapple. I'm gonna gapple because he doesn't seem to have a lot of health, but he does a lot of damage. If I can take him down quickly... Oh, I get it, I'm freezing him. That's why he can't attack as quick. Oh, just keep him at bay. Just keep him at bay. I need to eat. Oh, no, I don't need to eat. I'm good. Oh! We brought him down. Let's go! All right, well, I don't understand because I killed him and like, how do I get out? Oh, the key fragments were what Herobrine wanted. I have to trade them to Herobrine. All right, well, we're back to the portal. Now we need to go and find Herobrine. Yeah, this brings us back here. We need to go and find Herobrine now and trade with for that key. I then went to the wizard that was willing to trade me some magical wands if I could bring him a horn. Once I gave him the horn, he informed me that I actually unlocked mana, and then I was able to trade for an infernal staff and a staff of the wisp. Little did I know how clutch these would come in later. Okay, I officially hate going into this place. I can never figure out which direction he is. Okay, he better not try and attack me again when I, I'm giving him free stuff. Like, I got him out of prison. The least he could do is be somewhat grateful, right? If he attacks me again, I swear. I have, like, no mana left. Okay. The Golden Canyon Dimension. Not bad. Now go get some more fragments for me. Crimson Dimension. Another one? I just realized that that fragment Herobrine was gonna give me was the Crimson Kingdom. That means that th that must be the last kingdom. That must be where the kingdom went. I jumped down there with no second thoughts. I had nearly no food, my wand was run out, but with my new logic wands, I thought I had a chance. Actually, I thought I was gonna die, but let's not put that in the script. After entering the dimension, I found the Maelstrom Crawler. Once I killed him, he would drop me the final fragment that I had to give to Harrowbrine. It was now time to battle him. Yes, let's go, let's go. I ran up to him and searched around. When I opened my inventory, I had the item Herobrine wanted, and then I left the mines with only a prayer I'd survive back to the portal. While making my way out, I was attacked by more guards, and I went this and that way to try and shake them. I ran through what looked like an old ruin with a chest, but I was nearly dead with no food, so I couldn't loot the chest. After losing the guards, I decided to take a risk and loot the chest, so I sprinted towards it and I quickly opened it and grabbed the items, but then I was attacked and I sprinted away. There were some magic crystals and some food inside of it though. This was a lifesaver. I made it back to the portal world and I ran back to Herobrine across the awful dark bridge. He gave me the key though and told me nothing bad would happen when I used it. 
I was suspicious, but what has Herobrine ever led you down a bad path, am I right? <laughs> oh, we right, he tried to kill me. I made it back to the portal world and I used my key instead of one of the keystones. With nearly no health left, it spawned an enormous floating tower. I crossed my fingers there was food in the tower, but to my surprise, it broke a bunch of trees around and I got some apple. I used the blocks on the ground to pillar up to the tower, but I still needed food super bad. When I opened the tower, I found a chain in the center, and you can climb the chain. This was a PogChamp chain. When I got to the top, I found a chest with a cool chest plate and a ton of food. I was saved once again. I really needed to come prepared for this stuff in the future. I continued my way up the tower, and then... Oh, it's a big boy. He's, he's a tiny shield. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, I think we can take him on now with this. Oh, okay, apparently he takes no- Oh, now he- Woo! What was that? Why did he just do that? Okay, if we create some distance- Oh, what is he doing? <laughs> okay, time work for real. Z's? Okay. If we keep him on fire, I think it's gonna help us a little- Okay. Alright, this fight's gonna get him down to the wire. We're almost on no hearts. Oh, our wand ran out. I am deader than a dead goose. Okay, we need to get him to- Oh! Where we just go? He just fell off. Oh, but he's blocking everything with his shield. Okay, he came out. He came out. Come on, let's go! After slaying the Guardian, the final portal appeared. But before entering, I upgraded my wand to the next tier in my arcane workbench. I then went around the outside towers and looted all the chests for food items before diving into the portal. The Lost Kingdom was one step away. I dived into the portal and my jaw dropped. It was a massive underground kingdom. I used one of the chains to get down and slowly parkour to the nearest bridge. I was met with more soldiers, but I took them out. I then looted some nearby structures and remembered my main goal though, find the wizard and bring the kingdom to justice. Okay, this place seems a little bit different. Everything else was just consistently bridges and more... The gauntlet? What the... What is that? Oh my goodness, it's a giant hand. That has to be what's controlling this dimension. Now, the practical thing to do would probably be to run around the perimeter and shoot at it, but I'm just gonna run right in and see what happens. Oh, oh, I'm doing a lot of nothing. Not, oh, he's just chilling. Have to look at it. Oh, that looks freaky. Oh, I pissed it off. It's mad, it's very upset. Oh, 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 it breaks the floor. It breaks the floor. Oh, that's probably not a good thing. That is, oh no, if it drops me, that's gonna hurt, and it's lagging. Why does this exist? No, stop, please. Oh, no, okay, now I'm on fire. Now I'm on fire. Oh, it's doing this thing again. Come back up here, I dare you. I dare you? No? Is it working? Maybe if I double dare you. Oh, oh, he's coming now. Oh, that was a mistake. Let's try and use, he's so hard to hit with these wands. All right, yeah, I get it. You love shooting fireball thingies. But how about, how about we just make an agreement that you die, and I win? Is that something we can agree on? No? Okay. Oh! He spawned his wingy men! No! Stay back! He can spawn the soldiers. Oh no, my wand is out. This is not good. These ones are so hard, okay? Let's see if, let's see if we can hit them. Oh, they're so hard to hit them! Okay, everybody is chasing me. This is... This is less than... Oh! I have to hit him with this wand. It's my only... Oh! I got him once! get in here. Close that door. Go, 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 go. There is, oh, he's right there. He's right there. He is so close. If I can just create enough space. Hit him. Okay, one more hit. Oh, he's coming for the best friend. Okay, if I can create some distance, create some distance. Aim, aim. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh my goodness. That was crazy.